A trip to Ewood Park was never going to be the smoothest of fixtures for struggling West Ham United in October 2001. The Hammers had just lost 5-0 to Everton and now took on Graham Souness's Blackburn Rovers, who were unbeaten at home. And everyone in central Lancashire, it seemed, was determined to keep it that way. A vibrant atmosphere inside the ground. Back in the big time, Rovers were enjoying the attention. They were without Damien Duff and Keith Gillespie, who were injured while Marcus Bent was suspended. Summer signing, Corrado Grabby needed to add to his meagre tally of just one goal for the season. England international Trevor Sinclair had handed in a transfer request during the week, but was still included in the West Ham lineup. Thomas Repka was back from suspension, but Glenn Rhoda had to do without Joe Cole, who was suffering from a foot injury. There appeared to be plenty for Graham Sinness and Sven Joran Eriksson to talk about. Your commentator is Ian Crocker. Blackburn Rovers are unbeaten this season here at Ewood Park. In fact, they've only lost one of their last 22 home games. This place has become a bit of a fortress, and West Ham certainly know it. The Hammers have lost on their last five visits, and they've made a dreadful start to this season. Just one win so far against Newcastle. They come into this game on the back of a 5-0 drubbing at Everton. John Moncur didn't take long to get his first tackle in. Just over 20 seconds. That's what he's all about. It will be beyond a to take this free kick then for Rovers, who are looking for a flying start. Harry Flitroff, their captain, on the end of it. Shanker Hislop untroubled. Blackburn happily spraying the passes around at the moment. Here's Bjornaby. Johnson could still be in. Soma just about dealt with it. Moncur's header doesn't go very far. And Lucas Neal can deliver this time. Schemmel let it go. It was kept in, although to little avail for Blackburn. Right done. It's out by two guy and done moves into the area West Ham held off him more or less encouraged David Dunn to have a go and he sure did might have produced a better finish as well West Ham letting him come all the way Schimmel Trevor Sinclair is going to latch onto this he has Johansson for company Sinclair has actually been in fine form this season, and of course he was in Sven Juren Eriksson's England squad against Greece. Oh, Friedel was struggling with that. Here's De Canio. Twisting and turning. And he tries again. And Blackburn are living dangerously as Canute knocks it down, but safely collected by Brad Friedel. That cross, though, certainly caused consternation for Blackburn. Two guy, Rabi, Damien Johnson, taking on Soma, cracking cross as well from Johnson, and Johnson on the end of it. Teasing centre here from Damien Johnson. He was always uh, going to struggle to screw that one back. Souness took charge of Blackburn in March 2000 and brought them back into the top flight. Fouled by Freddie Canute. Here's Henning Berg who missed the Worthington Cup game against Middlesbrough in midweek. He had a foot problem, but back in the side today Preferred to Craig Short. Berg, though, pretty much a regular since his return to Ewood Park. His second spell at the club. Played for a team called Manchester United in between. Nils Eric Johansson. 
gives it to his central defensive partner, Berg. Rabi, two guy, Flitcroft. Hutchison. Di Canio. He's about to run into trouble. He's hanging in there. Paolo Di Canio. Well, he'll try anything. Di Canio making his 100th appearance for West Ham today, and I'm sure he would like to mark that milestone in some extraordinary way. for Blackburn in the Premiership, eight different scorers, although uh, one of them was David Beckham, of course, and a goal. Christian Daly seemed unaware of the presence of Flipcroft, who had done with a shout from his teammates then. Here's Corrado Gravi. And in it goes to Gary Flipcroft, and Blackburn are one up. West Ham's defence never really looked very comfortable from the moment Christian Daly lost out to Flickroft. Gerardo Rabi teased and tormented them, and Flickroft made a little run in to get on the end of Rabi's delivery. And Blackburn lead West Ham by a goal to nil. of this season, he's been struggling with hamstring injury. Christian Daly would love to get one against his former club. He will be keeping a check on Sinclair. Di Canio delivers, Repka's header! Booted away by Dunn. Flipcroft. Perfect pass from Flipcroft. Damien Johnson was the obvious outlet. And Thomas Repka just got something on that and needed to. Done. Canio completes the clearance. Here's Bjornaby. Dunn is hugging the touchline. Two guy, Henningberg. And Dunn goes for goal! David Dunn with a wonderful strike. And Blackburn double their lead. Nothing much is going right for West Ham this season, but maybe there's a message there. For Sven Juran Eriksson from the England under 21 captain David Dunn. Maybe he's ready for promotion to the senior squad. A quite superb strike from Dunn. West Ham have been done at the moment. 2 0 down after 27 minutes at Ewood Park. Ah, oh, the Hammers heading for another thrashing in the northwest, coming into this one on the back of a. 5-0 defeated Everton.
Blackburn on the attack again with Johnson. West Ham being run ragged at the moment. Two guy is available. And he goes for the far post, and it's another one. Blackburn have a third. And West Ham are falling apart. Damien Johnson will claim the final touch. Two guy with a lovely cross towards Grabby and onside. Johnson finished it off. And Blackburn are 3-0 up inside half an hour at Ewood Park. And it's becoming awfully embarrassing for West Ham United. Challenge from behind, and West Ham are losing the plot at Ewood Park. Repka crashing into Matt Janssen, and he joins John Moncur in the book. Repka just back from the suspension as well. You want to be? John Moncur was probably lucky he didn't make contact with Dunn then. Uh, already on a yellow card. Blackburn in the mood for more. Grabby trying to get in, and Christian Daly has to nudge it behind for a corner. Daly having a torrid time against his former club. West Ham conceding three in the opening half hour. Two guy takes the corner, and he'll get it back promptly from Flipcroft. Two guy always aware of any opportunities and done a blistering effort. He is really in the mood today in front of the England manager. David Dunn could be about to step up to the senior side as far as international football is concerned if he carries on like this. Trevor Sinclair. Michael Carrick. Oh, Carrick has got one back. Some hope for West Ham, but no hint of a celebration because Carrick and his colleagues know that there's still a very, very, very long way to go after that. Craps in the first half hour. But Michael Carrick has planted that firmly into the bottom corner. And West Ham have scored for only the fifth time this season. Shevel across to Carrick. Carrick gave it straight to Dunn. It's half time, and Blackburn Rovers are strolling in. Hugely impressive performance. Gary Flitcroft put them on their way. David Dunn with a sizzling second. And uh, moments after he'd scored a, a glorious goal, Damien Johnson nipped in for a third. Michael Carrick got one back for West Ham, but at the break, it's Blackburn three, West Ham one. West Ham start the second half. The Hammers currently in the drop zone. And it looks like they will stay there. And it looks like this will be their worst start to a season since the middle of the 1990s.
Aiden Fox. And again, show too much of it though to Flickcroft, who's been excellent. Blackburn away to Arsenal next. Then home to Leicester before Graham Sunez faces two of his former clubs in his management career, Southampton and Liverpool. He will be penalised for his challenge on Don Hutchison. Five million pound buy from Sunderland. In comes the free kick and a free header for Sinclair. And it bounces over the bar. And how West Ham could have done with that? It suddenly would have been very, very interesting at 3-2. Decanio's delivery and, well, Blackburn might ask questions of the defending because there was nobody around Trevor Sinclair. And that's a bad miss, really. Now, Janssen. OK, his lock collects. Now by Lucas Neal. Hayden Fox has uh, moved into Christian Daly's position. Grant McCann also on the West Ham in place of Moncur, Carrick, seeking out Sinclair. Bit of work for Lucas Neal to do. Sinclair. Doesn't quite reach Canute. Canute turns, but dragged his effort wide. West Ham were claiming a deflection, and I think the officials uh, have agreed. Canio wants to take it in a hurry, and he does! Oh, and Canute's header. Well, not many from Blackburn were ready for it, but Brad Friedel was. Di Canio didn't hang around, straight in there, Canute rose straight at Friedel, his two guy. And maybe a chance here. But credit to Repka, who does look a class act. Pretty much a regular in the Czech Republic team. Cross seems to be everywhere. And Rabi was caught by Repka, who's already on a yellow card. He's off. It's a red card for Thomas Repka. And it just goes from bad to worse for Glenn Roder. Can you believe it? He can't. Graham Sunes is bemused by it as well. But Thomas Repka is off. to say it looked a little harsh. But uh, Thomas Repka is sent off for the second time in his West Ham career. It's all happening at Ewood Park today, but it's not very good news. For West Ham United, Blackburn had been on the rack a little bit at the start of the second half, but they still, of course, have that 3 1 lead. Rabi chasing this, but across comes Hayden Fox. Glenn Roder's day 
and Glenn Roder's season. West Ham weren't ready for the corner, two guys sent it in, he tried to clear it off the line, oh dear. Not a lot you can say about that, really. <laughs> Blackburn looking for number five. It's just turned away. Jansen is frustrated. Dunn tucked it through. Jansen lifted it over his lock. Double substitution. Not a bad pair to bring on, I have to say. Mark Hughes still going strong. And Craig Hignett. Rabi is uh, coming off, and so too is Johnson, I think. Neil. Two guy. Oh, that is just brilliant. Two guy in the turn scores number five. Just look at this, he's a player who oozes quality. What a finish. The Hammers hammered by brilliant Blackburn. Number six, Dunn's effort, his luck couldn't hold on to it. They have number six, and it's Matt Janssen. It's about time he got in on the act. The torture continues for West Ham United. Blitzed by Blackburn. Janssen on the rebound. After David Dunn had stung the palms of Shaka Hislop. Three minutes have added on time. Have Blackburn finished yet? Or have they got more to offer? Two guy. Lovely pass to Dunn. He's got Janssen with him. He'll use him. It's going to be another one. Craig Hignett. Blackburn have seven. Blackburn are in heaven. It doesn't get much better than this, does it? Look at West Ham, absolutely ragged yet again. And Dunn and Janssen combined to set it up for Craig Hignett. What a memorable day for Blackburn Rovers. It's going to be a torturous trip back to London for the Hammers. As I mentioned, they uh, were beaten 7-1 at Manchester United a couple of seasons ago. They have taken another hammering here in the northwest of England. Done. Here they go again. Seconds remaining. Two guy. Hignett looking for another. Oh, he's put it wide. <laughs> Even at 7 1, he's a bit annoyed with himself because Craig Hignett, who scored the seventh, should have had the eighth. Two guys slipped him in with ease. It was nearly a case of coming at number eight. West Ham's time is certainly up. Glenn Roder has seen his West Ham side absolutely taken apart by Blackburn Rovers. David Dunn and Gary Flitcroft played prominent parts in a fantastic victory for Rovers. Blackburn are banging their drums, and no wonder. Positive performances all round from everyone.
It ends at Ewood Park. Blackburn Rovers 7, West Ham United 1. Jubilant scenes at Ewood Park, and rightly so following that performance. Rovers fans had endured a season out of the Premier League, and results like that confirmed they were back among the major players of English football. Doom and gloom for West Ham then, but Glen Rhoda turned things around, and they eventually finished a very healthy seventh.